Are you thinking about setting up an LLC? And if so, you probably heard that it's better to set up in one place or another. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Taxes Made Simple. I'm your host, Carlton Dennis. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing all the important questions that you might have as it pertains to where to set up your LLC. If you want to know what the best option is for your LLC in order to pay the least amount of taxes and fees while receiving the most benefits and advantages, then this is the perfect video for you. Let's dive in. For many business owners, the best option is to simply form an LLC in their own home state. This is especially true if your business is a small business and only operates within your state's borders. One of the best reasons why it makes sense for many people to form LLCs in their own home state is because they're already familiar with the laws, the procedures, and the rules of their own state. It can be much more convenient to deal with a set of laws, procedures, and rules that you're somewhat at least vaguely familiar with than having to go to a brand new state and trying to learn an entirely new set of rules, laws, and regulations. Also, if you register your LLC outside of your own home state, your LLC will be considered a foreign LLC. If you have a foreign LLC, you'll have to go through the process of filing a foreign qualification in order to get permission to operate your foreign LLC in your home state. This can mean extra paperwork and fees. It could also mean dealing with some little bit of additional taxes and compliant difficulties. And for many people, dealing with the increased paperwork, tax treatment, compliance, and disclosure requirements is a little too tedious early on in their business. This is the reason why many people choose to just set up their LLCs in their own home states. Now, another thing to consider if you're going to set up your LLC in another state is that you might be required to pay a registered agent to represent your company and accept the services of process, i.e. collect the paperwork and all the mail in the state on your company's behalf. This can cost you a little bit more money, and it's just another thing that you're going to have to deal with when you decide to make the decision to have a foreign entity. Now, let's ask this question. Does it ever make sense to set up your LLC in a different state? For some business owners, it does actually make sense to set up your LLC in a different state than the one that you live in. For example, for larger corporations and businesses that are operating in many different states or for businesses that are prone to lawsuits, it can make a lot more sense to set up an LLC in a state that has LLC friendly laws and regulations. There are some states in the United States that have earned a reputation over the years for being extremely business friendly and ideal for setting up an LLC or a corporation. For this reason, many business owners actually choose to set up their LLCs in these states, despite the fact that they can have more paperwork, more fees, more compliance requirements to deal with. For these business owners, it's all worth it to get the additional benefits that these states provide. Here are the top three states that you should consider to set up your LLC in besides your own. Number one, Delaware. Delaware is the top state when it comes to setting up a business. And I want to make sure you know the true reasons as to why. In fact, more than 50% of all publicly traded United States corporations and 63% of Fortune 500 companies are incorporated in Delaware. There are no corporate income taxes for LLCs that do not do business in Delaware, and there are also very low franchise taxes. I believe it's $175. Importantly, there are also no residency requirements to set up your LLC in Delaware, and there are limited reporting and disclosure requirements every single year. So in other words, setting up an LLC in Delaware is very easy compared to other states because the taxes are low and there's not a lot of compliance and paperwork that you're going to have to go through every year. Additionally, and perhaps most importantly, the state of Delaware has a special business court called the Delaware Court of Chancery. This court has been in existence for over 200 years, guys, and it specializes in handling commercial business disputes and interpreting business law. This court also hears business cases. This means that disputes and lawsuits are much faster in Delaware than they are in other states where business cases are mixed in with all other types of cases. Guys, the Delaware Court of Chancery is one of the main reasons why a lot of businesses and corporations are set up in the state of Delaware. Number two is Nevada. Nevada is another popular state when it comes to setting up your LLC or corporation. This is because just like Delaware, there are many things in Nevada that a lot of business owners view as favorable when it comes to setting up an LLC. For example, there's no corporate income, personal income, or franchise taxes in Nevada. Additionally, the state does not participate in income sharing with the IRS. This means that Nevada is an ideal state to set up your LLC from a tax perspective if your intention is to reduce audit risk. Also, the state allows business owners to remain confidential when they are setting up their LLCs. 
This means that if you don't want your name to appear in the public filings with the state regarding your LLC, it will not have to. You can make a choice. Compliance is also a lot easier in Nevada than it is in many other states. For example, operational agreements and organizational annual meetings, they're not required for corporations. This can make it easier to run your LLC or corporation in the state of Nevada compared to other states. Let's jump to number three, the state of Wyoming. Another state in the West, Wyoming, is also a great place to form an LLC. This is because Wyoming is very business friendly. Just like Nevada, Wyoming does not impose any corporate income or franchise taxes, making it an ideal place to set up an LLC from a tax perspective or a parent company if you're not doing business in Wyoming. This state also has very easy compliance and reporting rules and annual meetings do not have to be held in the state. Furthermore, just like Nevada, Wyoming allows for confidentiality when it comes to the names of the LLC owners for public records. Additionally, Wyoming also allows LLC owners to have lifetime proxies. A proxy is a person who holds the shares of the LLC on behalf of the true LLC or corporation. However, the LLC owner still is able to control the voting rights and other privileges. This also allows the LLC owner to remain anonymous for the life he or she chooses, but also have control of his or her own ownership and percentage of the LLC. That's why I love Wyoming. So which state should you choose? The state that you should choose to set up your LLC is going to be dependent heavily on the size and specific needs of your business. If you just have a basic business that only operates in one state and is maybe doing like $100,000 in revenue or less, you're most likely going to be better off filing in your own state. The fees will be lower, there will be less paperwork and less exposure. However, if your goal is to either remain anonymous as an LLC owner, avoid franchise taxes, or prepare your, yourself for business-related lawsuits, then you might be better off setting up your LLC in a state like Nevada, Wyoming, or Delaware. Many large businesses choose to set up businesses in these states just in case they are sued. They assume that they will get the best possible legal treatment in a state like Delaware. So. For them, it makes sense to incorporate or set up an LLC in Delaware. If you think your business is prone to lawsuits, then it could also make sense for you to deal with the extra paperwork and the extra fees to set up your LLC or corporation in a state like Delaware. But when it comes to setting up an LLC, some states have earned reputations as being ideal places to do this, and at the top of the list will always be Delaware, Nevada, and Wyoming. Easy compliance, no corporate income taxes, Favorable courts and anonymity are some of the most notable reasons to set up your LLCs in the states. But if you want to go with pure simplicity, then it's usually easy to just set up your LLC in your own home state. You need any assistance in figuring out which state to set up your LLC, how to get your corporate structure built out correctly, how to have parent companies, how to have management companies, then get in touch with my company today. You can find the link to my business in the description below to get help on setting up your LLC today. If you have any questions on how to set up your corporate structure, management companies, parent companies, then I encourage you to click on the links below. Also, you're more than welcome to join our community inside of Tax Alchemy, where we're coaching everyday business owners and entrepreneurs on how to use real estate as a means to reduce their taxes. That's all for today's video. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you so much.